Hey, ladies and gentlemen, I'm live. It's KTR here with the one and only Mr. Flame Newton. Flame is one of the preeminent credit education experts in the world, and he happens to be a student of the KTR Speaker Focus Coaching Program. Flame, what's going on with you, man? man how you doing? I'm doing great, man. Nice to see you again. So, Flame, uh, tell the people out there, so it's not in my words, it's coming from you. You know, you're, you're one of the most authentic people that I know. And the reason why I asked you to do this, we've been hanging out. We've been in a uh, strategy session for the last uh, four and a half hours. Yeah. We got some great things done. Get ready to launch your digital marketing campaign. But let's go back to the beginning of when you first learned about Kevin T. Robertson or Speaker Focus and the value that it had in it. What, what, made, what drew you to our coaching program and what made you want to get involved? Um, for me, it was strictly off of I felt something. Like we all say this word, but we use it loosely. But I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna use it correctly. Mm -hmm. It's called energy. Okay. Like me never meeting you, me not knowing anything about you. When you came up with your program, I could feel the energy uh, within your program towards me, and that's what gravitated it towards it. And especially when you said it was one key word in there that no one else was talking about, mm -hmm. and that word was called focus. Okay. And when I, once I heard that word, it kind of made me refocus. You know? Okay, I got you. All right, so. Uh, a word that I'm just real big on me is value, you know, and that's something that, you know, you and I connected on as well. You do that a lot with your clients. Why is, you know, why is value so important when you're offering a service to somebody? Because when you offer value to them, there's this thing that they're leaving away with something. It's like you're filling a need. Mm -hmm. And when you're able to, when, when, when a person is able to fill a need, that value, that goes a, a lot longer with them along the way as opposed to, just taking something from it that doesn't mean anything. That right. value is being able to being able to pass down from their kids to their family members, even to their significant other. Mm -hmm. Playing with all the trials and tribulations that you've been through, and there's many people that's going to be watching this interview, with so many things you've been through, the ups and downs, the highs and lows in your individual career, what would you say to a person that's looking at this video that's maybe, maybe think that this is not for them? Maybe think that that they don't think that anything is possible above and beyond where they are right now. Maybe some people just going through a financial struggle. You know, maybe they think that money is a, is such a challenge. Maybe maybe it's 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 a, it's it's a significant other in their relationship. You know, maybe it's a negative friend or family member or something. What would you say to a person like that that's on the fence of trying to get involved with any type of coaching program? Um, I got some key elements, and, and I'm glad you brought that up. Mm -hmm. Great, great one. Is is for one is. These elements, if you get rid of these elements, these are completely pretty much change a lot for you. And that's called the friends and the family, right? <laughs> a lot of times it's your friends and your family that hold you back. The one that you feel as though that supported you the most. Um, but they can also be the ones because they doubt their fears and their failures because they wasn't able to achieve them. They put those doubts and fears into you, mm. which now stops you from going out to achieve yours in, in, in a manner. Um, and they, project, can, they project what's inside of them, their fears. They never they won't project it on you. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. And so what you have to do now is you have to say, you have to get into this mind fold of saying, hey, it's just, I don't care what no one else says. And, and I know people say, oh, I should care. You should care. No, you should not care. You should not care because at the end of the day, you're the only one that has to live with the results of what happens in your life. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. So, Flame, where does it go from here? You know, you you before you came to the coaching program, you already had a brand. You know, you already you already worked hard and you established yourself. You know, I want to talk about that because I, I, I get a lot of people that I talk to as I've traveled over the world for the last 33 years. I get a lot of people I still talk to on a consistent basis right now in the coaching program. They think this is some kind of game. OK, would you explain how much hard work and effort? that has to go into, it has nothing to do with being a motivational speaker. It has everything to do with busting your ass and really putting forth the effort. You're a person that works hard. You get up every day as an entrepreneur. You don't look for the easy way out. I want you to address that this is not a game. It's hard work. Explain to them about the part with hard work, Flame, because a lot of people, are, they don't understand that part. Well, see, what happens is a lot of times people get caught up in the word. And these are words that people get caught up in. One word is called a business owner. The other one is called entrepreneur. And, and then you got a third one that says, man, I work for myself. But with that, that becomes a, it comes a huge amount of responsibility. And like I tell my friends sometimes, I tell them, say, hey, if you go to work Monday through Thursday or Monday through Friday, on Friday, you get a check. There's no way around it. See here, 
in this metaphor, when you when you out here busting your tail every single day, you may not have nothing to show from it. And then you got to find a way to keep yourself re-motivated again to continue to go after mm. it again and again mm. without having the results from what you feel is though the effort from what your work proceeded so mm -hmm. i mean when you start getting into those now you have to start challenging yourself into a different manner and that manner that you have to challenge yourself is you have to find the will the way and you have to dig deep inside your heart to say hey this is for me no matter what it says um and sometimes it may be a, a, a cliche of things. Sometimes it may be writing things down to where you having something that you can go back after and you can see it. It's a mm -hmm. visual. The other ones may be saying, "Hey, this is the work. This is the stuff that I put on my calendar last week. How much of this stuff did I actually get done mm -hmm. instead of being mm -hmm. talked?" You know. Okay. All right, Flame. Talk about you. You said some. You said some. It was real profound what you said, but it was real simple to understand when it comes to the hard work. Let's talk about passion equals profits. It's easy to say that. Like, what did you feel? Now, now, now Flame, I, I asked you to do this interview for a reason. Because I know that you take a lot of coaching. You have experienced a lot of different programs. What would you say is the differentiator between the speaker-focused coaching program and the, and the curriculum and everything about it versus some other online programs that you try? Um, for sure, being able to have things in a chronological order, uh, having things that where, when you, when, even if you know something, and even if you don't know something, as though that you following these steps mm -hmm. towards the end, as you completing each step, you're starting to see and you're starting to feel the results of which you're able to go through. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, in other words, the picture is painted very clear about what's expected of you. And flame, uh, talk about accountability. You know, this is just some la di da shit that people are gonna go through, or you know, am I gonna be calling you, uh, following up, asking you, and, and you, and you're one of my busiest, co most busiest, and one of my most successful coaching students. But <laughs> Flame, talk, talk to them about uh, the calls that you receive when your homework assignments don't get turned in, or when we have to schedule a work session. <laughs> hey, how do you do that emoji again? <laughs> that's how you do that emoji. But nah, but that's one thing that I do appreciate. That's something that you get upset about mm -hmm. when you're going through it. When you're going through it, but at the same time, you do appreciate it that somebody's holding you accountable um, to making sure that you're getting things done. Um, and I know that your your schedule is. Man, I already know it's through the roof. Mm -hmm. But with that being said, man, just being able to come through, call my phone, and say, hey, did you get this done? Mm -hmm. um, sending me an email. And sometimes, I'm going to tell you what he does, too. I'm going to give you a trick. <laughs> what he does. He'll come through on your Facebook page and like a picture to let you know. <laughs> to let you know. Hey, that, hey. hey don't forget about me. <laughs> you don't I, know you, I know you're traveling, Flame. It's KTR. Don't forget. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Exactly. It's all good, man. It's all good. Well, you know, it's a, it's, it's a pleasure to, to, you know, to work with you. You know, again, you had an existing brand. It's not like we created your brand. But one one thing that I love about uh, working with you and why we accepted you into the program and why, why it was a fit, good fit on both sides is because we both rose to the challenge of we knew what was ahead. You know, we, we knew what, we know what's going to be ahead of, as we lay out your two to three to five year plan of what's getting ready to happen. You know, with you, you having a bigger online presence and you launching uh, coaching programs and making your making your credit programs more readily available and affordable for the general public and that's that's a whole nother thing that's coming in the future and, 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 and it's something else i want to ask you too I, I noticed that whenever you and i have a meeting and we we, we breaking bread or we having a drink or something you always take time to, for other people not to sell your services but just to you you i've seen them do this every time that we've been out and we, we've had a lot of power meetings and, and dinner meetings and lunch meetings, whatever the case is. And you, why, why do you take the time to ask people about their lives and where they want to go and what they're doing? Because at the end of the day, man, these are real people. They got real jobs and they go through real things and it's a real struggle. See, people get a, people get a, unaccustomed to not being accustomed and, and, and doing things. And it's one word. It's all wrapped in a lot. And it's called the word called life. And when you see somebody and you might see them working at a, at a particular place, whether they be a waiter or whether they be an Uber driver, it doesn't matter what their profession is, right? They all have hopes, dreams, and, ab and, and aspirations. But when you sit there and you talk to them for just five to seven minutes or two to three minutes and you get a chance to find out what's going on, 
that can actually change their life because when, what you're seeing is certain things that I've, I've actually saw in people. Like, for instance, today when we were sitting, before uh -huh. we even sat down, the guy uh, was, uh, was, was going to wipe the table. He went to the back uh -huh. and KTR himself, he came through with the rag and started wiping the table. And the guy said, no, 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 I'm going to wipe this table. Uh -huh. I'm going to wipe this table. And, and it was like, well, are you going to get in trouble for it? He said, no, no, I'm not getting in trouble. That's just within me. And that meant a lot. That showed that that man had a care. Mm -hmm. So if you took that person out of that particular job as a waiter and you put him in any other establishment as a worker, he would deal exceptionally well because he has a passion. He has a he has a fear for for doing what's right. 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 You know? Right. And you can you can, you you have a, a very unique gift like I do at being able to assess that in people, spot that in people. And ladies and gentlemen, you know, this is the reason why I have flame you know, do this interview with me just to have a general conversation and talk to him about the coaching program. When I tell you this is the most authentic movement of speaker focused results on planet Earth, it's not no joke. This guy has no reason to to come and do an interview as much as he travels and as, as busy as he is. But I wanted you to I wanted to be able to, to get him on camera to be able to ask him a couple of questions just to hear from somebody else's perspective. Somebody that's started all the way at the bottom, somebody that's been through uh, a lot of adversity in his life. You know, Flame has a, a, a unbelievable story that he could have gave up and quit a long time ago, but he had a passion, he had a vision, and he is out there on stage and speaking right now as a result of him following his dream and his passion. That's not something I could take credit for. All I do, this is as simple as this, all I do is take your vision and just organize it, help you stay focused, put the steps in front of you and paint a picture of what the future looks like if you're willing to do the work. Flame, I appreciate you. I wish you nothing but the, the best brother. You know, I love you. Like you, I treat you like your family and I'm glad you treat me that way. The School of Credit and the KTR Speaker Focus Coaching Program. We've only just begun, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate your time, man. Thanks for coming on. All right, you too. All right, hey, stay focused on your goals and dreams. Be like Flame Newton and just go hard. <laughs>